All right, boys, we're poolside chilling today, baby. Why not? So we're gonna be talking about taxes. I love it. You know what I mean? History repeats itself. And we're gonna dig deep today, man. I know I'm, I'm super lounging here, but you know what? This is what you get when you work for yourself. And I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. But history does repeat itself. Let's dive deep on this. Let's have some fun. Okay, let's get a little bit mad. And let's just take a chill. You know, we're all screwed. Let's let, uh, I think this guy's name is Andy Fursella. Let's let Big Daddy just give it to us. Our tax dollars should never, ever, ever go outside of this country until this country looks like fucking Dubai, where there is no crime. The most beautiful cities, a thriving economy with a thriving middle class where people aren't taxed to death. Until we get in that position, which those people in Washington will never allow us to be. Because when we become that, we are harder to control. We are harder to resist. And they have lost the understanding that they serve us. We do not serve them. Right now, we are serving them and they are intentionally keeping us impoverished so that they can control this country and stay in power and continue to steal your tax dollars. That's what's going on and the American people need to stand up against it and fix it once and for all. Hey. <laughs> I, 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 we could just end the video right there. I'm just kidding. We're going to dive super deep. But hey, dude, dude's not tripping. This, this guy, though, sets the tone right here. This is beautiful. Not that we're gonna do anything about it, but hey, let's, let's listen them out. We could pretend. If you didn't know, up until 1913, Americans kept 100% of their paychecks and there were still roads and they still built government buildings and well, we even still had a military. Yeah, all the way up until 1913. No, just a quick reading of the constitution will actually, and the amendments will, will show you that it's actually not constitutional to have these income taxes. Thought I'd remind you of that during tax season Especially those of you in California. You all loved my last last tax video. <laughs> Losers. Yeah, I lived in Cali for a while, man. Oh, I got a love-hate relationship with that place. God, they tax the shit out of you. Not just with taxes. We're going to dig deep, okay? When I say taxes, I'm talking about a whole grip of things. We're going to dive deep on this. But just something to think about, okay? It was 2020 when we realized, like, things are fucked. Food is fucked. Medicine's fucked. System is just fucked. I mean, so it's safe to say everything's fucked, except for me. I haven't had sex in a while. Uh, <laughs> the pool's nice, though. My dick is wet, actually, literally. So I was a little inappropriate. I apologize. Uh, but this guy's basically, what he's about to dive into is talking about basically moving off-grid. Okay? Like, kind of. You know, it's, it, if you want to live in society, you always have to have one foot in, one foot out. But this is something that, if you're anything like me, you think about. Kind of like, get some land, kind of be a little removed. Um, but, you know, you kind of need money to do that. So, that's fun. Have you noticed since like 2020, probably earlier, that things aren't lining up right? Like, some shit is just not right. It's the whole process of beginning like a homestead. We started our own online business. It's not what many people think it is. Saved up a bunch of money, bought our own land, and this is where we're at today. And since I've been openly sharing more and more and more about that, I've realized there's a shitload of people who want that freedom. They don't trust our government. They don't trust the system. They don't trust the food as well. Is that you? Because if that is you, let me know below because I want the algorithm to work where I can find people just like you and I. Because I do. I want to start sharing with people like how you can make money online and getting away from the system and start doing your own thing. Okay. So to be fair, I do agree with him. Learn how to make money online is important. But I don't think there's really a way to get completely out of the system. I mean, they're even making homelessness illegal. So it's kind of, you know, unless you want to go live on a sailboat, but then even then, you know, because when you live on on the water, you don't have to pay taxes. Anyways, um, but I'm kind of one of those guys. I got one foot in, one foot out. You know what I mean? I'm playing the game. I'm living in society. Obviously, I'm in a pool right now, okay? Um, I'm not just, like, living in a, in a you know, a log cabin and living off the land um kudos to anybody doing that but uh anyway something to think about though because i think a lot of people are kind of on that on that level i know it's in in crossing my mind like maybe i should move somewhere kind of be way out of the city but uh but it's a big jump because I, I feel like a lot of us are institutionalized if that makes any sense i know it's perfect i love it 
Anyways, if you're new here, I like to read some of you guys' comments from previous videos. Keep it light, keep it loose, keep it fresh. Plus, we're literally in a pool right now, so this is awesome. This guy, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, one of my Patreon members. Much love, brother. He goes, "Bigger, the bigger the government gets, the poorer you will be. You gotta love it. But that's usually how it goes. People get greedier and greedier and greedier. One of my favorite lines, favorite quotes was from Bob Marley. And he said, the biggest man was once a baby. When you think about that one, it'll click with you at some point. All right, so we're going to switch gears a little bit here, but here's another form of taxation. We're going to get dive in deep here, okay? So strap in, all right? Let's really think about this as a team. <laughs> Anyways, start with car insurance. Can someone please explain why every year your insurance goes up, like if you've not made a claim? I don't get it. I thought it's meant to go down. Every year... I have to just switch insurance people because it just always goes up by a lot too. Like my insurance now is like 1,500 or 1,800 a year and it's about to like automatically renew and they want to make it 2,500 for the year and I haven't made a claim. Ridiculous. Loser. So I put that in there because all this mandatory insurance, okay, so to paint you a picture, around 1970, according to Google, all hail Google, it's our God, thank you for the paychecks every month, I appreciate that, uh, it says around 1970 is when they decided to make auto insurance, you know, a law, like you legally have to have it. I'm putting this in here because over the years... We have so many new rules and regulations that you can't even keep track. I mean, I went to court one time. Shouldn't have done this. I was much younger. But I was super pissed. Really hot. Okay? I got a $600 traffic ticket from a camera. A robot gave me a ticket for 600 bucks. So I said to the judge, like some wise ass, I go, I go, how about this? If I, I'll pay this ticket, but you, but you have to list every law by memory. I know. It's impossible to do. That's how many rules there are. <clears throat> Anyways, there's so many rules that it's just, it's just, it's classic. It's the best. But that's like another form of taxation in my mind. Um, and this guy here, Tone Talks, he's from Cali. He's got a cool YouTube channel. Uh, he was telling me that even parking tickets, speeding tickets, all of these little tickets that we get, that's just another form of tax if you really think about it. So we're, we're, we're getting somewhere here, okay? And there's a lot of these things. President Joe Biden's electric vehicle mandate is being rejected by both auto dealers and customers. As 3,700 auto dealers... You're probably wondering what the hell is electric cars got to do with anything. We're going to get there. Want Biden to scrap his electric vehicle mandate, claiming Biden's plan to make two out of every three new cars sold by 2032 to be electric is highly unrealistic as most customers don't want them. Electric cars are arriving on lots faster than they can be sold, despite deep price cuts, manufacturer incentives, and generous government incentives. Simply put, most people just want to make their own choice about what vehicle is right for them instead of the government trying to force that choice upon them. Okay, so I'll put the electric cars in there because it's another another thing that they're trying to force us to do right guys exactly so that's why i'm putting that in there and let's be realistic okay electric cars most of us can't afford them you can't even just take electric car to any auto to any mechanic to get it fixed okay so the more and more that we're losing these abilities to have choices so if we all have electric cars we're all super limited. Really, electric cars is for people who make a lot of money. And typically, so this guy here, Max Chewing, successful guy, okay? Watched one of his videos recently. I didn't save it. I forgot which video it was. But he's a pretty successful dude. Probably makes a lot more money than both of us. No offense, statistically speaking. But even he, he just bought an electric car, according to his video. But he's iffy about it. And the only reason he bought it was because why? He's able to have two cars, one gas, one electric. So really, the electric car, man, that's that's kind of more of a rich person's game. That's not even like your average person's thing, okay? Um, I'm not going to get into replacing the batteries on those, but uh, that's like basically just buying a new car. So I mean, that's something to think about, just something that... 
you know, really gets my uh, gets me going, gets my dick limp in the morning. Is just knowing that I'm being forced. We're all being forced to do all these things that we cannot afford. It's classic, you know. At least I can come to the pool for free. I'm just kidding. I pay 550 bucks a month for HOA <laughs> in a shitty neighborhood. Isn't that awesome? Anyways, let's switch gears here. We're gonna talk about this credit score. Okay, you might not know this, but in my opinion, it's another for it's another form of taxation. We'll get there. Credit score. I love that. Like 800. How easy is I'm it? A finance major. You gotta have a great credit score. It's legal discrimination if you don't have a good credit, by the way. How easy is it to live in 2024 with an 800 credit score? Uh, pretty easy. What are some of the things that you could do that people with lower ones couldn't? I'll give you a perfect example. I was buying out my car at the Audi dealership. And do you think the government and the credit system makes it harder for people who had financial hardships in the past? Yeah, but credit's a direct indication of financial discipline. If you have poor credit, it's because you have poor spending habits and you don't have financial discipline. You're spending more than you're making. You're not paying off bills on time. That's all on you. You don't magically wake up with bad credit. Yeah, and you also don't magically wake up with good credit, asshole. I'm just kidding. I don't even know that guy. I'm not actually mad at him. But, but real quick, hold on, we're getting somewhere with this. So just like he said, you don't wake up with bad credit. Well, you don't wake up with good credit either. Okay, in 1989, the year I was born, and probably a lot of you guys were born, is when they established the credit score. Now, why do I put this in here? Okay, so in order to get good credit, what do you have to do, guys? Anybody? You have to get a credit card, and you have to learn how to do what? Borrow money and pay back interest. Yes. Yes. And then all of you guys, before you type in the comments, oh, you don't get charged interest if you pay it off every month. Bro, they making money off of us no matter which way you look at it. You just don't know. Or maybe I'm retarded and I'm just the idiot in the pool talking shit online. They're both okay with me. But just something to think about. You're immediately forced into learning how to borrow money and pay interest. Another form of taxation. I could be tripping. I could be. I could be. I could be completely out of my mind right now. I don't care what side you're on, but there is something inherently evil about a state giving a multi-trillion-dollar company a hundred percent tax cut. I saw someone else talk about this, but I couldn't stitch their content, so I'm just going to reiterate and add my own. Someone was talking about how Mississippi is giving Amazon a one hundred percent tax cut. One hundred percent and $44 million to keep their businesses running. Meanwhile, Mississippi has the highest poverty rate in all of America. We all remember the game Monopoly and how you win in that game. You win by owning everything and literally removing the ability for someone else to participate in the game. And the game ends because everyone loses. You no longer get to take money from them and they don't have anything left to give. <laughs> Everybody loses. I love that. That's the best. Everyone loses. That's perfect. I want to be a part of that game. I put that in there, though, because think about it. So, for instance, this hasn't happened to me. I've, owe, I've owed money to the government many times, usually every year I owe. But, for instance, one year my best, one of my best friends didn't claim his taxes. So, two years later, the government came and took $900 out of his bank account. And guess how much money he had in his bank account? $900. They couldn't even let the man slide on $900. It's awesome. But they'll fucking... I just think it's funny. I just... I really do. I think it's hilarious. This one's perfect, though. We're going to really dive deep right here. This dude's comment was great. Student loans are also another form of hidden tax. Uh, that must be paid back to the government. Licensing fees are a form of taxation. Gas tax, you're taxed on income, you're taxed on spending, you're taxed on the cable bill, your cell phone bill, your plane ticket, vacation, taxed on your home. Taxes take, take around 90% of your lifetime earnings potential. If you make $2 million in your lifetime, you'll be lucky to keep two hundred k for retirement. You fucking idiot. Sorry, he didn't say that. He goes, and your retirement income will most likely be taxed. I love it. I've been taxed three times since I've been at this pool. 
literally. Anyways, let's keep this moving. If I'm missing stuff, guys, you go ahead. Feel free to comment all the other taxes that we don't think about. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, this one was great. This one was great. He goes, uh, th this is another thing about, like, uh, getting speeding tickets, cops, all that stuff. This is rich. This guy goes, because I was talking about getting harassed by the cops a lot, driving a shitty car. They used to always pull me over and stuff. He goes, I remembered getting pulled over, and I started crying because I told the cop I was just driving down the street so I could do my laundry. He's like, I don't even have money for drugs, and I'm just trying to survive. He didn't give a shit. He gave me four tickets, took me three months to pay that off. Sadness. This other guy's comment was great, though. This was awesome. He goes, he goes uh, that's how they fund their pensions. You got to love it. It's not that I don't trust cops. It's just the guy in the beginning said it the best. They're supposed to be serving us, but we're serving them. And I couldn't agree more. And I'm not trying to say anything of a cop's watching this. I'm not saying you're a bad guy at all. But, hey, you know, if I've been guilty by association, unfortunately, you have to suffer the same. I didn't make it up. What's the end goal here? Because the U.S. government cannot possibly believe that this is sustainable. We already know that. <laughs> she was about to say this is sustainable. I know I already told this story, but if you're new here, this is Rich. So I used to take care of my dad before I put him in a nursing home because he has dementia. So for one year, his Social Security money, all $1,100 a month, came into my bank account. So when I transferred everything over to the retirement home, I got a letter from the Social Security office saying that I need to send them back every dollar I spent of my dad's 1100 bucks and how much money I saved. Yeah. They literally... I was like, wait, I, I, there's a miscellaneous box. And I said, I said, that's so funny. You think somebody could survive on $1,100 in America and actually save money. That's literally what I wrote in that box. I don't give a shit. They, someone's going to read that. And, they're, and, and the lower level people that'll read that, they're probably going to go, that's fair. Anyways. Goal is take away the housing, make homelessness illegal, imprison everyone who's homeless, sell them back their freedom through working. Having everyone live in workforce housing unit, and you can only keep your house as long as you're working for the company that gave it to you. You own nothing, and when you quit that job, you'll still not own your home. So that means you will have to die working, just like they want anyway by raising the retirement age. That's literally the end goal. Like, the end goal is to make sure that everyone is enslaved and working as cogs in a machine. And I say that they've made that pretty clear. Which is why it's more important now than ever to be invested in radical justice and revolting and hitting them where it hurts, which is their wallets and their workforce. They're already complaining that we're not having babies because we're depleting the future workforce. But literally nobody can afford children. So without kids and without money and without housing, we literally have nothing to lose. Anything you okay, so I know that chick may, may have seemed a bit radical, okay? And, you know, with the, with the piercings and all that, whatever. Okay, at this point, though, I get it. It's like, who even gives a shit anymore? But um, I do agree with her, though, to an extent, you know? Like, there's certain things that I just don't partake in. You know, people think I'm nuts because I tell them I don't have health insurance. And, you know, I don't, I don't do a lot of... Um... <sighs> it's, it's tricky because I understand. You might think I'm stupid for not having health insurance. That's fine. Why you care, I don't know. You know, you, you're not me. If I get sick, like, who cares? You don't give a shit. Um, but the reason why I don't do a lot of this stuff, that's just one example, is, um, is, um, because no. I was like, you tried to force me to have health insurance? You know, years back, remember that? If you didn't have health insurance, they taxed you. No, I'm not playing ball. Absolutely not. So all the things that I cannot have and not pay for, I just don't anymore. I gave up buying underwear long time ago. What's the point? You know what I mean? Like, who? <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just making a point, okay? That there's a lot of things we cannot participate in. Um, it's just difficult because, I, like I said earlier, we're institutionalized. Anyways, let's let Mike Epps here. Um, this was really funny, but also. I kind of agree with them to an extent. If you're doing anything illegal for money, keep doing it. This country is illegal. You're here over here illegally. They stole you from somewhere and brought you over here. You ain't supposed to be over here. 
Yeah, fuck that. Get your money, man. This whole country is built, criminals built it. It's built off crime. And they make you walk around and feel sad if you get caught doing anything. It's like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Me and you are wrong. I just got caught. Okay, so, like, I, I don't think, I think karma's real if you're, like, robbing people and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, scamming, all that. That's, that's you know, probably shit's going to come back. And, and bite you. I'm not saying like do crazy illegal stuff, but he's got an awesome point though. It's it's funny the double standards. Just like Amazon doesn't have to pay taxes, but I owe 800 in taxes. You get what I mean? There's like this huge double standard, right? Like even when I went through the court system back when I was 20, I'm in my mid 30s now, but I went through a felony thing for selling weed, right? Which is funny because nowadays that same amount of weed it would have been literally a ticket. Like, I would have got ticketed. Nothing. No felony, nothing. Um, so I think that's kind of funny. But, um, but to paint you a picture, um, there was people in a program I was in with the same exact charge, but they got three times worse punishment than I did. And I'm not saying that because I'm white, but it could be true. Something to think about. <laughs> Anyways, but on the, on the other side of that, though, you know... We're not going to go down that hole. Anyways, this one was legit. This one was rich. He goes, I got one, a $1,000 fine for cutting a tree down I wasn't supposed to on my own property in Florida. What's up, man? I'm in Florida, too. Um, yeah, yeah, that one was awesome. Uh, all I mean is all politicians are on one team, the money team. Yeah, you know, when you talk about, like, Republican, Democrat, it's like they, they're all working together. And then they're getting all of us not to work together. It's perfect. <laughs> it's like, I got to take some uh, classes on whatever they're doing for manipulation tactics, I got to tell you, because they are fucking genius at it. Um, all right, so we're going to end on this note. This was great. He goes, the Simple Man channel goes, I already do live my life like a Netflix documentary. It's similar to The Walking Dead, but it's called The Working Dead. The only difference is the zombies are unexpected to pay bills and taxes. He goes, I still struggle to survive and I often wonder what's the point of going on. But we go on because we are the working dead. Classic. I know it's not hilarious, but I thought that was pretty funny. This person, we'll end it on this one. This person goes, the new retirement plan is to leave the country. LOL. God, that's rich. Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to say here is, you know... If history is true, and we really did leave England to come here, or Great Britain, whatever the fuck, a bunch of tea sippers, right? No, I'm just kidding. No offense. Um, but if we really left them to come here because of what? Taxes? It's just funny that it's all just happening all over again. I think that's the best. I actually, you know what's really funny? I, I, this guy I knew, older dude, he's from England, moved here a long time ago, but he comes here and he's like, you know, guns should be illegal, all this stuff, and uh, which I really don't care. You guys have your own opinions. I just thought it was funny. I was like, you know, of course you bring your tea sipping ass over here. You left your country because America was better in your eyes, but yet you want to make it exactly how your country was. It's classic. Anyway, shout out to all my Patreon members. Love you guys. I'm going to go for a dip, baby. Subscribe or don't. Hell of a talk.